Hey guys, this is Hunter at Vapor Hunting Technologies, and today we're back to discuss frequently used abrasives in the wet blasting process. One of the most frequently used abrasives is glass bead. Glass bead is good for a general clean and polish of your parts. So if your parts are just a little bit dirty, they need polished up, uh, glass bead is a great media to use because it's round and hollow and it gives off that OEM polished finish that a lot of people desire. Aluminum oxide is better for a lot of clean so if you have parts with corrosion, tooling marks, burrs, paint, oxidation, powder coat, aluminum oxide is great for those applications because it has that sharp cutting edge. So it can really cut into those contaminants and get them off of your parts. We do have different grades for different types of needs. For example, if you have a powder coated part, it's going to require a more aggressive aluminum oxide than what a light corrosion would or an oxidation would. So we are more than happy to help recommend sizes to fit your needs. Ceramic bead, it's much like glass bead, but it's a little bit different. So it's gonna be round and solid instead of round and hollow. It lasts about 30 times longer because of that characteristic. And it also gives off a more satin finish. So if you're looking for a little bit toned back of a finish from the OEM polish, ceramic bead is definitely going to be your go-to media. Keep in mind, because this does last 30 times longer, it's a bit more expensive than what glass bead is. The last type of media we frequently see used is silicon carbide. Um, this is much like aluminum oxide. It has sharp edges, but it's a lot harder. This is the hardest abrasive we offer. Um, this is great if you have powder coat applications. It's very quick at removing the powder coat and reprepping for powder coat. Um, but does have the same characteristics in that it's sharp and it cuts very quickly. You can use pretty much any media you use in a dry blast process uh, besides a shell that will swell up in water because obviously that would clog up your lines, clog up your pump, and plastic media because it floats on water instead of sinks. That means it won't be able to properly agitate. But if you're having any success with any other type of media, please let us know and we'll be happy to shoot video and do some testing on it. And give us a call if you have any questions. Our number is 828-202-5563.